This project started when you came across a French copy of uh, Mein Kampf uh, at a friend's home. And I, I think our audience would be interested to know what your response was when you first held onto this book. Bonsoir. Good evening. Je voudrais tout d'abord remercier euh, ici cette institution, le musée. Euh, I would like to first thank the museum. Les membres du musée qui ont aidé and the members euh, à réaliser who, euh, who helped to organize ce travail the exhibit. là et à avoir la chance de pouvoir le montrer à plus de monde possible. And the, the, the possibility to show it to as many people as possible. Je sais que c'est un travail d'équipe. Euh, I know that you worked as a team. Très important, et je vous remercie chaleureusement du fond du cœur. And so I would like to sincerely thank you from the bottom of my heart. Remercie aussi Connie, tout particulièrement d'avoir accepté aussi de m'autoriser à être là parce qu'elle m'a dit to enable me to be here. Quand je l'ai vu la première fois, elle m'a dit j'ai senti ce projet et tout de suite dans son regard il y a une étincelle. Et... And I actually felt that she, I knew that she could feel the subject and she had a spark in her eye and I understood that she understood. Ça a été pareil après avec tous les membres du musée ici et j'étais ravie. And de... was the same thing with all the different members of the museum here. De cette équipe et de ce. So ce, I would like to thank the whole team. Que vous avez eu. Voilà. Je tiens à remercier aussi. Euh... Monsieur Denis Bison et toute son équipe. I'd like to thank avoir, uh, Mr. Denis Bison, the cultural attaché. attaché. Ensuite, tout, tous les membres ici qui ont aidé aussi à réaliser tout ça. And all aide. those who helped me Merci à tous. make this a reality. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Maintenant, je vais répondre à la question. So, I will ask your, I'll answer quand, your quand question now. Quand j'ai eu ce livre, je ne m'attendais pas du tout. C'était une, une véritable surprise. surprise. Je faisais des devoirs à ma fille. Je révisais, elle révisait ses fiches du baccalauréat. Well, I, when I... I was um, confronted with this book. I wasn't expecting it because I was helping my daughter prepare for an exam and she was looking over her notes. Tout d'un coup, elle, elle, se, elle me regarde dans les yeux, elle me dit, Maman, tu sais quel livre j'ai découvert Je lui dis, je lui dis quel livre And so, et, uh, all of a sudden, she looks at me in, my, in the eyes and she says, Mom, you know what I just discovered What book I just found Elle se lève et elle, elle va chercher euh, le livre. And she livre. gets up and she goes and looks for the book. Elle me le donne comme si c'était une, une bombe à, à retardement. Elle me dit, she gives it to me as if it was a bomb that was about to explode. Look, this is Mankampf. Elle me le donne, elle, elle s'en débarrasse. She gets rid of it, she gives it to me. Et elle me donne à moi le, le poids de, de ce livre qui pesait and, des tonnes. And she gave me the, this book with its weight that weighed tons. Et tout de suite, <coughs> en un éclair, je me suis sentie responsable de quelque chose. And all of a sudden, in, in a spark, I felt that I was responsible for something. Il fallait agir très vite. Euh, I had to act fast. Et c'était une occasion qui m'était donnée. It was pouvoir, an occasion that was given to me, an opportunity that was given to me. De pouvoir résister, de pouvoir hurler, de pouvoir exprimer to, mon horreur. To be able to resist, to scream, to express my horror. J'avais pas besoin de le lire. I didn't need to read it. Savoir ce qu'il avait engendré comme horreur. To understand what came out of it, what horrors came out of it. Quelque part, j'ai senti une satisfaction. Somewhere in my being, I felt a satisfaction. En disant, je vais, je vais, moi, toute seule, avec ce livre-là, cet objet, Hitler. I'm going to be myself with this object, with this book, with Hitler. Je vais régler son compte. Je vais, je vais avoir le dernier mot. Je voudrais I'm going to have the last word. Lui répondre. I'm going to answer to him. C'est très bien trouvé la réponse à Mein Kampf. That's very good the way you entitled the, exe the exhibit responding to Mein Kampf. Mais comment faire Ça c'était. But how to do it La question la pire qui, qui m'obsédait tout le temps nuit et jour. That, that was a question that was continuously in my mind night and day, obsessive. Et ce livre ne me laissait pas tranquille. And this book didn't chiant. leave me alone. Donc ma vie s'est arrêtée. My life stopped. Moi, je suis sortie du monde, du quotidien. I pulled out of the everyday. Pour me concentrer sur ça. To et, concentrate on, on, on this question. À savoir comment j'allais faire. Donc je ne pouvais plus peindre, je ne pouvais plus créer. To know how to do, how, what to do. I, I couldn't paint anymore. Voilà. Et donc je, je me suis mis à écrire. So I started writing. Comme une, une écriture automatique. Et It ça was sort of like a spontaneous writing. Et ça, ça a duré pendant trois mois. That went on for three months. Et à la fin, j'ai dit, je vais devenir folle. Ça y est, c'est une catastrophe. And at the end of the, whole, the ordeal, I said, I'm going to go crazy. C'est pas possible. I can't go on like this. Mais non, je ne pouvais pas. Il fallait trouver une, une solution. I couldn't continue. I had to find a solution. Et un soir, j'ai vu le film de 
Claude Lanzmann, Shoah. I saw, one night, I saw Claude Lanzmann's movie, Shoah. Au bout de trois mois, et j'ai vu After juste these un, three je, je suis passé par hasard, j'ai vu un extrait donc euh, d'un déporté qui parlait. I saw an extract, I saw a bit where there was a, a previous concentration camp survivor talk. Donc c'était comme si j'étais une déportée moi-même. I felt ce myself livre. as if I had been in this camp. J'étais très concernée par ça. Je, je, I was very, I was deeply concerned. Comme si j'étais une victime. I felt that I was a victim. Et comment m'en sortir? And how to pull out of it? Une solution moi pour m'en sortir et. I had so to find a solution for myself to pull out. Voilà et, et leur rendre hommage. Alors j'étais eux et donc quand. So I was them. Et quand je l'ai vu parler. And when I saw this person talk, je me suis mise dans sa peau. I put myself in his shoes. Et j'ai senti sa douleur, mais vraiment physiquement. I felt physically his pain. Et puis tout d'un coup, euh, je suis rentrée dans ma chambre. Je l'ai juste écouté lui. Ça a duré I un quart d'heure. I just listened to him for 15 chambre. minutes. I went back to my room. J'ai commencé à écrire des comme des espèces de poèmes ou de prose. I started writing poems and prose. Là, qui qui les concernait eux particulièrement? But déportés. that concerned those people that I'd seen on the movie. Je ne supportais pas cette injustice. I couldn't stand. This injustice. Ce, ce crime pour rien, this, this, this crime for Tous nothing. Crimes, All these crimes. Et donc écrit pour eux. So I wrote for them. Et, et je me suis dit, je regardais ce livre, je le scrutais en tant qu'objet, en tant que. And I was looking at this book. I was looking at it as, as something that was some, an element. It was, you know, I was examining it in details. Et euh, je me suis dit, je, je vais, je vais écrire sur ses mots à lui. Donc je vais avoir, je vais lui donner ma réponse. Je vais so I'm going to write on his words. I'm going to give him my voilà, answers. Exactement comme ça que ça s'est passé. That's how it started. Vraiment. Donc je, je dis après tout ce livre, il m'appartient. I said after all, this book's mine. Je, je, j'embête personne. I'm not bothering anybody. Et c'est entre lui et moi. Et it's c'est between secret. me c'est secret. and him. It's a secret. Et, et j'écris. Alors j'ai commencé à écrire And I write. mes so poèmes. So I started writing my poems. Je les ai écrits sur sur ce livre. I wrote them on the book. Et, et c'était vraiment quelque chose de très apaisant pour moi. It calmed me down. Où j'ai dit enfin je je peux me défendre. I, I, I was saying to myself finally I can defend myself. Et, et je peux peut-être rendre hommage quelque part euh, aux déportés. Ou And I could maybe um, give homage. To, to those who were sent to concentration mais, camps. Mais j'arrivais pas à expliquer, à donner des mots sur ce que je faisais. C'était une pulsion. It was a pulsion. It was it was instinctive. I couldn't really explain what I was doing. C'était mon inconscient qui me dictait ce qu'il fallait faire et personne n'allait m'arrêter. Ça, my, my subconscious was telling me what to do. It was dictating me what to do. Nobody was telling me nothing, anything. I was just following my subconscious. Et j'étais soulagée d'avoir trouvé, d'avoir eu une idée face à ce livre. And I was finally Thankful to have found a solution, an idea for this book. Um, I'm curious as to the point at which uh, the process changed from being uh, a conversation between you and the text, a, a private conversation, and when the the larger public conversation started, when you sent pages out and other people started to uh, collaborate with you. Oui. Alors, euh, j'ai, donc dans cet élan, c'est un élan. So in this momentum, j'ai, j'ai fait une trentaine, une quarantaine de pages. I wrote about 40 pages. Et j'étais tellement heureuse. Là, I was so histoire. happy. Ça y est, j'ai trouvé que j'ai dit, je, je vais absolument euh, faire partager ça aux autres. Pourquoi so I wanted others to participate. I wanted others to be part of it. Je voulais vraiment que les autres ressentent ce que je ressentais, donc il fallait. I wanted them to feel what I felt. J'ai eu cette idée de dire, voilà, j'arrête. Le livre appartient aux autres. Maintenant, c'est eux qui vont donner des inconnus, so, qui vont donner une réponse. I decided that I would stop the book now and I would call upon people that I didn't know for them to participate. Voilà, la première page que j'ai donnée, c'était, c'était à ma fille qui était là à côté de moi. Et je, je the first page, page I gave was to my daughter who was right next to me. Et je lui ai donné la page. Et I je gave dis, her the page. Elle m'a dit, qu'est-ce que tu fais, maman je And she said, 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 what are you doing, mom? And said, well, dis, just do moi. like I'm doing. Et tu me rends la page. And, And then give me back the page. Après tout, c'est toi qui as trouvé le livre. After, tu after all, moi, you're the one who found the book, so now you have to participate. Dans cette histoire. Et ensuite, euh, elle m'a rendu une page... Euh, Assez, assez émouvant, très émouvant. She gave me a very moving 
page. Pas une, une it wasn't a work of art. I didn't ask for a work of art. I just wanted her, her emotions, what was going on inside her. Ma fille pas artiste, ne, My daughter ne wasn't pas an ça. artist. Et donc, pour moi, heureuse ait pu chose so I was very happy to see that she could pull out some emotions from her. Et And today, oh, she is actually studying art. De... And I'm very proud of that. And that's when I mes amis des Beaux -Arts. that's when I went outside. Don that's Robin, when I went to see my friends from the Beaux Arts. Don Robin, qui est à and Robin, who is right here, et qui est de San Francisco. and who's from San Francisco, <laughs> on top of it all. Voilà, et, et ça a été une grande aventure. So it was a great adventure, and that's how it started. Um, I'd like to look at a, a couple of the images Um, maybe you could give us just a couple of sentences on each one. People will have a chance, obviously, to see the originals and more, but it's nice to have the artist uh, tell us a little bit about it. Okay. Alors, c'est une, une, une page que j'ai faite dans, dans ma série des 30 premières pages. This is one of the pa pages I did during my first 30 pages, the series of my first 30 Parce pages. Au tout début, j'ai pensé à finir le livre. J'ai fait les 20 dernières pages, donc j'ai fait les barbelés, tout ce qui était les symboles. All the choix. symbols in the first 20 pages are the ones donc, I did first. Donc il y a eu les barbelés, ça. So you have the barbed wire. C'est par ça. J'ai acheté du fil de fer. I bought, I bought wire. Je me suis coupé. Après j'ai. I cut euh, myself. J'ai collé une mèche de cheveux. Then I, I, I stuck a lock of hair. J'ai collé une dent en or parce qu'après ils faisaient des lingots en or. Avec yeah. I, I, I glued a gold tooth because they used to melt them. En fait, c'était ma colère et l'excitation de, de pouvoir montrer ce qu'ils ont été capables de faire. It was my anger and, and the, the desire to show what they, could, what they were capable of doing. Et comme c'était mon matériau, And it was my là, material. I'm an artist. Avec mes propres moyens, je With the means that pu, I had, I did what pu. I could. This is the cover, right? C'est la couverture. Yes. Oui. 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 Yes. Yes. Et, et si on peut lire, il y a marqué peinture et souffrance. Il a écrit, and if, hein. if, if you read well, you see painter, um, painting and, and um, suffering. Et, and suffering. And don't forget, he wanted to be a painter. Donc quelque part, ah, ça c'est la, la dernière page. So that's the last page. Et euh, dans, dans ce, cette aventure est apparu un, un pseudonyme qui, qui s'est imposé à moi. And in this long adventure, I, I, um, a second name was given to me, and that was imposed actually on me. Parce que je, ne voulais, je voulais me différent, je, ne voulais, je voulais être avec les 600 personnes anonymes. I wanted to be anonymous, soit. but be part of the 600 people that participated, but at the same time being anonymous. So be, because people um, criticized me for using the Holocaust as a means to become famous. That was not true. Page. So for me, what was really important was the last page. Ouais, parce que c'est, on, on peut toujours s'en sortir et s'envoler, et puis moi-même aussi à travers ce combat. Et... Because you can always pull through, you can always fly away, even myself in my in my struggle. Et tout le monde en même temps. And on everybody peut together. Résister, on peut you can always resist. Et ne pas être passif. And and not be passive. Et donc elle est apparue. Et so je me suis wing elle est appeared. Et je me suis rendu compte que c'est l'inverse de mon nom de famille Elia. And when, Après, when I, after that, after I saw this wing, L, I realized it was my last name, là, backwards. Ai pas dormi de la nuit, And I, never, I couldn't sleep that night possible. when I realized that. Le hasard, how, how, you know, un, fate couldn't work. Et mis des autour, mais And around it, you can see ailes, barbed wire. And the wings go beyond the barbed wire. Ah oui, là j'ai voulu découper et faire un fruit de paille avec There I wanted to cut it up and make a bunch of straw in order for it to burn. Découper ce livre plus cut it out. Pour pouvoir le lire. So cut out, cut out the book so you never read it again. Ça ce sont des griffes. Those are, are scratch marks. C'est partie des premières pages. They're the, amongst the first pages that I did. Et là, j'avais un cutter, j'ai coupé. I had a cutter, you know, paper cutter. Et, euh, 
Et comme les mots étaient assez impressionnants, je les ai entourés. And the, the most striking words were the ones that I surrounded. Et j'ai écrit où est passée cette sérénité, cette tranquillité. And I wrote down, I wrote where did that tranquility, tra that serenity or that tranquility go? Qui peut why, arriver à why? tout le aujourd'hui? Qui peut arriver à tout le monde aujourd'hui? Something that could happen to anybody, anybody today too. Le ciel peut nous tomber sur la tête. The, the sky can fall on our head. C'était une page. Ça a été that was one of our pages. Là, euh, j'ai acheté des, des tickets de rationnement. I, I bought longtemps. food coupons there. Au marché aux puces. Et, At the flea market. Et euh, j'ai pensé à les mettre sur une page. And I thought it would be a good thing to do to put them on a page. Pour acheter à manger. C'était pour. Those were the coupons, food coupons that they used during the war, in France. Février 44. You see February 44. Um, your uh, your children are here. Vos enfants sont là. Yes. Um, to uh, Jesse, your daughter, Jesse. And, and Gregory, your son. Et Gregory. Ils m'ont beaucoup soutenu et Gregory. Ils m'ont beaucoup yeah. soutenu et surtout je les remercie de They really m'avoir appelé me. parce que j'étais plus tellement présente pour eux. And I'm, I'm, I really would like to thank them for accepting that I wasn't there always anymore for them. Mais ils étaient avec moi. But they were with me. C'était important pour moi. And it was very important for me. Il y a aussi mon autre fils qui est resté à Paris, Zachary. Qui a Zachary est mon autre fils, il est resté à Paris. Mais il a vraiment aidé. J'ai pensé à partir un peu de la format. Est-ce possible que Gregory voudrait dire quelque chose Et ou Jesse Oui, j'espère s'ils veulent prendre la parole. Oui, Is that okay? yes. Yes, if they want to come down. Do you want to join us for a moment? Ils se joindre à nous. Thank you. Shouldn't have had you sit at the very middle, at the very back. Sorry. I try to make my uh, English teachers proud, <laughs> even though they're not here, but I'll try. Maybe I'll talk about my uh, personal page, which is not here. Est-ce qu'il peut parler juste de sa réaction quand je lui ai annoncé que j'allais faire que j'allais faire le livre? Can you speak about the reaction yeah. you had when I told you that I was going to make this book? Yeah, I can. And actually, my my first reaction was a. Uh, a suspicious reaction, and I say, what are you going to do with that kind of book? You're, you're going to only uh, uh, put bad things on you. And um, she was not the artist you see now by, the, um, by the, this time. She was like, uh, I'm paintings. <laughs> and, <laughs> Go back to where you came. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I have the mic and I keep hearing it. <laughs> um, and say, okay, go back to your paintings <laughs> and leave Mein Kampf alone and Adolf Hitler alone. And uh, fortunately, uh, she didn't listen to me. And uh, she did that great work you can see uh, tonight. And um, now, every time she told me the new project she's about to, to make. And each time I say, but I, I don't get a thing about it. And that's a good thing for her. <laughs> for me. And when I find something, mm, this is interesting, she pulled this away. <laughs> so that was the, the, the first reaction. And um, then she gave me a page and I wait four years because you, you cannot imagine how long this work takes to put everything together and to make a book and to collect 600 or 700 pages from 700 people different. And she gave me a page and uh, I couldn't find an idea and I was like, okay, an idea will pop up a day. 
and uh, I was uh, smoking a cigar, Cuban, sorry. <laughs> you miss something. <laughs> and uh, I was peaceful in my sofa, uh, smoking a cigar, and the ID pop up and say, I'm peaceful in my sofa, and the cigar I was smoking was a Churchill, which is a kind of cigar uh, made by Romeo and Juliet, a famous brand uh, of cigars. And I say, oh my god, I'm smoking the actual cigar that uh, Winston Churchill was smoking at this time. And uh, he might have been um, as peaceful as I am now smoking those cigars in the meantime where Holocaust and Shoah were uh, processing. So I said, all right, I'm going to take the, um, the ring out of the, the, the cigar and roll the page, which is actually the same size as the cigar, and put the, the ring on the page. And the page is now a cigar with the Churchill uh, ring on it. And by the way, uh, I saw the pages. If you can just pull the ring a little <laughs> further, <laughs> and not in the middle, <laughs> just my uh, my thing. En tout cas, quand il m'a rendu la page, when he gave me back the page, très ému, très I was very touched uh, and, and very proud, and I couldn't imagine that my son pareil. could have given me a page like that. Voilà, the, so thank you. I'll end with the message, and the message is to say that. Um, we can be peaceful right now, and there are many Holocaust uh, processing everywhere in the world. And uh, just to remember that in those times, some people, powerful people, knew about it and couldn't make something. So it was like a, a, a struggle to come message. Thank you. C'est la responsable. <laughs> she's the one who's responsible for everything. Yes. So it's not easy to pass after a funny guy like my brother, but I'm going to try to make funny. But uh, <laughs> so um, I want to to say that um, when I, I first find this book, I decided to give it to my mother because I know that she will do something with that. And I know that he, he, he cannot stay in this bibliothe bibliothe library. And, um, and uh, I think it was a good thing to give it to her. And uh, after weeks, when I, when I was uh, in her room, I saw a lot of pages on Mein Kampf. And I say, oh, she becomes crazy. Why I do that? So, so it was a, <laughs> I was a little bit afraid. And after what she she gave she explained me the project I was so excited and uh, I said that it was a good idea finally and um, when she proposed to for to me to uh, make a, a page I uh, I was not um, was a little bit afraid because I didn't know what to do exactly but uh, I just decided one day at uh, when I when I wake up to to take everything that I have around me and um, to do something with that. And my first, um, uh, my first uh, envy, envy, wish that it was to to take my pen and to cr um, to make a to deshire, to tear it. And uh, it was like that. It was a, a pulsion, something I wanted to do. And um, after I have, um, I had. Uh, uh, a little it um, uh, one stars David stars and uh, I wanted to give it to my page and to to give it to this uh, this project and um, it was something very important for me because I, I discover what is the creation and what what is so good in creation when you can when you have something inside you and you can go out these feelings and um, and it was such good that I decided to to make that in my life and to go to a fine art school and to become an artist as I was like as well as I can. Stay here for a minute.
Um, I think this is maybe a good time to open it up for questions and we'll continue the conversation. I'm just curious uh, to know what kind of painting did you do before? No. Oh. <laughs> It's a difficult question to answer. It's not a figurative, plastic painting. It's painting that just comes out of my emotions. And I play with colors. I get into some sort of a trance. And I don't think, I don't uh, pre preconceive, I don't think ahead of time what I'm going to do. I'm just in front of the canvas and I go, go, I go out there with my colors. I dream. And now I'm doing, since this project, I'm doing other things in a different manner. How did you select the 600 people that you reached out to? In the morning, I would go out in the street. La rue était mon atelier. La nuit. La rue était mon atelier. The street was my 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 work place. Et ma voiture, mon bureau. And my car was my office. Et j'allais. Et j'allais dans les cafés. I, and I go into cafés. Et je m'asseyais. And sit down. Une heure, une bonne heure. For about an hour. Et je commençais à regarder les gens. And I started looking at people, staring at them. Je regardais comme je regardais le livre, comme je. Just like I looked at the book. I would. J'imaginais leur vie. And I imagined their lives. Leur vie, leur sensibilité. Their feelings. J'imaginais une histoire. I would, I would imagine a story around them. Donc, et tout d'un coup, j'ai dit, tiens, cette personne, je vais essayer. And all of a sudden, I'd say, okay, well, this person there. Donc, je la connaissais puisque je l'avais regardée. I knew this person a little bit because I had stared at him. Et tout d'un coup, je me présente. And all of a sudden, I would introduce myself. Je me présentais, je dis bonjour, je m'appelle Linda. Say hello, my name is Linda Alia. Je fais une performance. I am doing a representation. Je, je travaille sur un livre. Je disais pas le livre tout de suite pour pas les effrayer. I'm working on a book. I didn't give the title of the book to not frighten them immediately. Parce que j'ai eu de, de, de j'ai eu de mauvaises expériences. Because I had bad experiences when I said I would work on uh, Mein Kampf. Les gens étaient effrayés. People were frightened and horrified. Et il y avait que moi qui pouvais aller vers les gens. Je pouvais pas dire à une autre personne va donner les pages. I I I I was the one that had to go and and approach the people. I couldn't ask somebody else to give them a page. Parce que c'était très délicat. Il y avait des réactions très violentes. Because it was quite delicate and there was a lot of violent reactions. Et donc là tout de suite je montrais les pages qui, ont, so qui avaient déjà été faites. I showed the I would show them the pages that had already been worked on or they thought it was beautiful and so oh, what is interesting well what book is this and, you know that would be asked after 15 minutes and I'd say well it's Mein Kampf don't worry don't worry it's Mein Kampf so of course it, it would it would introduce a discussion a debate very interesting debate. I felt that certain people really were expecting that this would happen and uh, they would throw themselves in the project. And the streets also. I, I felt people, people that I didn't know at all. That's what, that was the exciting bit, to go and, and, and knock on their doors to find out what's, what was inside them. Like I did with my daughter and my son. They couldn't imagine that they could do something as strong as they did. That's why I dropped my tools, dropped my colors, and turned towards others to create. Un acte de résistance qu'il faisait. Qu it's a resist, it's an act of resistance that we could do together. Hi, 
I'm just very curious to, as to whether you are aware of a book called The Book Thief by an Australian, young Jewish Australian uh, writer who uh, very much, there's a character of a young man who uh, escapes during the uh, Kristallnacht period in Germany and comes to live with a German family and had, brings, he escapes by carrying Mein Kampf. Yes. Nobody can stop him because he's carrying it on the trains. And when he comes to live in their basement, they hide him in their basement, he is the man who he lives with is a painter. And the painter has white paint, which our character paints Mein Kampf, the pages of Mein Kampf, and draws and paints on it for a small girl that lives in the house. And my book club was reading it, and when I saw this exhibit, I said, oh my goodness, this artist must have read this book. So I'm fascinated to hear your story, and I recommend that you look into this book called The Book Thief. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. It's very precious, very interesting. Would you please give me the yes. information, the detailed information about the writer and the, the title? Oh, thank you. <coughs> In addition to going on the streets and in cafes, did you solicit uh, any of your artist colleagues and friends to participate in the project? Uh, also, did you knowingly solicit people who were Holocaust survivors uh, and had been through the uh, had been through the war and had been through the camps? That's a very good question. Thank you very much for asking me this question. It's very important for me. The survivors, because really it's for them that I did this. And I was afraid to be wrong, and I was scared of their opinion. So the first thing I did before, before those that I didn't know, before these, I tried to find survivors to show them my work and to have their reaction. Because if they didn't agree, I think I would have stopped right then and there. I, I met Sam Braun, a survivor, who, who was in Auschwitz, a survivor. I met him. You, you'll see some pictures of, of myself and him in the Japaram, in the in the film that's in the exhibit, and I was scared about what he was going to say and what his reaction would be. Sorry. Yeah. And I was hoping to meet Simon Simon Veil, a very important French personality, political and cultural personality. So Sam Braun pulled out his star and showed it to me. It's the first time I saw the star. We, we cried together. And he thanked me for what I was doing for them. It was a way of reacting. It was a way for him to encourage me, a way to show that the crime will not stay without punishment. And I, I, I felt better, and I gave him a page, and he wanted to do his page. And for a, someone who lived, who, who experienced the concentration camp to want to do a page, I was, I, that was... Any, all that I could ever ask for. I will never listen to anybody else that would say, stop doing that, because I'm going to do it for them. And I did, did it for them. I really did. Then I finally were, was lucky enough to meet Madame Simone Veil. We were very afraid of her, advi her, her reaction. She's a strong woman. She's very opinionated. And she said, no, don't touch it. You're not allowed. I would have stopped immediately. 
la voir. So I went to see her. Et c'était très très émouvant et très silencieux. It was very rien. emotional. Il y avait 50 very pages, quiet. 50 premières pages. Their very first 50 pages were in front of her. Je, je plus, je je I was so scared. I was, pas, I was perspiring. I just wanted to run away because she wasn't saying anything. She was just silent. And she saw one of the pages that had a, the picture of a child. Et elle cherchait les enfants, and she was looking at the children to déportés. see if she recogn- recognized any of the children that were sent to camp. Quand elle a levé les yeux, and elle when she looked up, she was crying. Elle s'est levée vers moi. And she went towards me, she came towards me. Elle m'a serré dans ses bras she took me in her arms elle m'a dit merci pour ce que vous faites pour and nous. Said, Thank you for what you're doing for us. Elle a dit, vous pouvez compter sur moi. You je can count on me. I will be the godmother of this project. Vous avez ma bénédiction. Donc you, you can carry on. Et là, j'étais partie. Voilà, c'était fini. J'ai and that was it. I just ran through the rest of the project. And I did it for them. There you go. First, I'd like to thank you for doing something that had to be done, which we probably could not have done for ourselves. And second, I'd like to ask, were most of your contributors Jewish? No. No, thank you very much for your comment and your question. No. Il fallait la vie de tous. Because I wanted everybody's advice. Tout le monde est concerné, donc Everybody is involved. So I spoke to, to gypsies, to handicapped, des étrangers, des to foreigners, to, I spoke to everybody. Not, not specifically Jewish. There were, but we're all different and we're all involved. Hitler killed people anonymously, so I went to anonymous people. I think what's important is to react in, in front of a tyrant. I reacted in, for the past and for history. Has uh this exhibit in the book become known in the countries where the Holocaust actually happened, and has there been any reaction? This book was presented in Geneva for, for the moment. And here. And of course, I would love to see it go to Germany. New York, to New York, en Italie, to Italy, en Espagne, enfin, to Spain, enfin, a little bit everywhere. Pour toucher, pour to, to, to touch people, to, to m- m- create a reaction, to, to hit their nerves, Voyage. so they could travel. Uh, when you went to the cafes and you met the strangers, and uh, uh, you did not know them. Weren't you concerned that uh, you might have met some people that could have been anti-Semitic and might have actually have agreed, inconceivably and painful as it might be for some of us, uh, that they uh, uh, might not agree with your point of view and uh, they might have said something in that page that was not what you were looking for? Oui, très bonne question. Yes, very, very good question. Parce que j'attendais ça. I was expecting it. Et je voulais leur parler, and est-ce que avoir un duel avec eux pour les convaincre? And I wanted to, you know, to, to, to confront them and to understand why. Et je, j'ai, je suis, je, j'ai rencontré une personne. And I did meet an anti-Semite. Et qui a eu le courage de me dire. Somebody who was anti-Semitic and who had the courage to tell me so. C'était un, enfin, il était d'extrême droite. He was extreme right. Et il m'a dit, euh, il m'a dit, euh, je, moi je donnerais mon cerveau à un, à un dictateur. I would give my brain to a dictator. Parce qu'ils sont extrêmement intelligents. Because they're extremely bright and I trust them. 
quelque part, euh, s'il a, il a voulu faire ça, c'est qu'il a raison. If he did that, somewhere he must have been right. Là, j'étais très en colère, bien And sûr. I was, of course, very, very mad. Alors, tu vas me faire une page. So I said to him, page, well, you've got dire. to tell me this on one of my pages. You, you have, must have the courage to say what you just told me. Il a pas eu le courage. But he didn't have the courage. Je l'ai harcelé. Je l'ai... <laughs> I really nagged him and pushed him, but he wouldn't. Il m'a dit, mais tu me provoques. He said, but you're provoking me, you're pushing me. I said, yep, that's what I'm doing. Just to show how stupid and ridiculous you are. And I told him later that I was Jewish. And they told me, he, re- he answered saying, well, you're doing this on purpose because you're an artist, and artists don't have any politics and don't believe in politics. And so you're just having fun with me and you're trying to provoke me. Il avait 25 ans. And he was 25 years old. Can I, can I ask a question? Um, uh, I know that there's concern about the next generations in the States and in Europe not knowing about the Holocaust. I'm wondering what the difference was generationally between people who were older, who responded, and people who were younger and I'd be curious actually to hear your, uh, your, your kids, what their, what their response would be to this also. Oui, très bien. Ce qui était important pour yes. moi, c'est what que, was, what? Good. Uh, c'est que les, les jeunes de, de 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 what ans, what was important, important for me, for young kids, uh, teenagers, uh, 12, 13 years old, voilà, de leur dire qu'est-ce qui s'est, de leur montrer qu'est-ce qui s'est passé, parce qu'ils sont to pas show them what vrai. happened, because a lot of times they don't know what happened. Donc j'étais dans beaucoup d'écoles. So I went to a lot of schools. J'ai été voir des professeurs d'histoire, d'art I met uh, history professors. Donc il fallait les motiver eux-mêmes, les jeunes professeurs. Art uh, professors, you had to motivate the professors first, of course. Pour qu'ils donnent une page à leurs élèves. So they would give a page to their students. Et qu'ils travaillent entre eux. And so they would work together on the, Donc, on the projects. My son at the time was 13. He gave his history professor a page, and the whole class came to my house. And I pulled out all sorts of coloring pencils. All the pages that hadn't been written upon were on the table. And I didn't need to explain to them really what the Shoah was about, what the Holocaust was all about, because they understood immediately by looking at the other pages that had already been drawn. On. So we stayed for an afternoon together, working together, and I myself started working on new pages. They were very, very excited. They all did four or five pages. And so, so did I. And I, 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 I did pictures with them just to make them feel better, more comfortable with the project, and, and I just felt that I was part of them at the same age. And Mrs. Simone Veil made sure that one of my Books, my book, that my book would be now in all the public schools pour les enfants, pour for children, ça, so they would understand. Yeah, um, that makes me think about a, a survey that I read a few weeks ago about how many uh, how many young people in the United States uh, knew about uh, 9/11 and. Uh, I was amazed to see. Um, I thought the. Uh, I think the the figures were thirty percent didn't know about 9/11, and uh, I believe. And the survey uh, talked about the Holocaust too. That not enough young people know about uh, Holocaust. Uh, our school programs uh, in France and I think uh, all over the world. Uh, speak of Holocaust, but it's our responsibility and every grown-up responsibility to, um, to vehicle, to, to trans- uh, transmit uh, history and, and, and memories. And I think this book is a, a great opportunity for a grown-up to explain to the children 
uh, what has been done and what must never be done done again. Not te English teachers. You know. this. Um, I wanted to add that um, um, a lot of my friends in my school uh, school class. Um, when we we learn about Shoah during the class, uh, they said, uh, "Oh, not uh, again the Shoah. Uh, we know that what happened. Blah blah blah. We know uh, there is a there is a, um, a problem in Africa, and never and uh, we don't talk about this. But uh, I wanted to to tell them that um, the the tyranny is everywhere, and that can if we forget the Shoah, we can forget everything, and we can forget Africa, and uh, so the so that um, I think that it's important to talk about it again and again and again. I think we have time for uh, two two more questions. Suppose you had uh, conducted this project in Germany. What kind of a reaction do you think you would have gotten? Alors, les Allemands, oui. I, I tried to find uh, German participants, il y a 30 personnes and 30 pe participé. people participated. Uh, ils tous, euh, très de faire une page and they were very happy to be able to write out a page to show that they agreed with me, plus rien à voir avec ça. that they had nothing to do with what happened Et in the past. Amie, and my best friend is a German woman who created five pages of the book and who helped me find the other 30 people. Her father participated. So it was a good reaction. I was very happy. But I hope the book will eventually go to Germany. There's a, a publishing ban. There's been a publishing ban on Mein Kampf in Germany since the war. But the Associated Press announced just last week that a group of German historians would like to republish it before the copyright runs out in 2015, which would open the doors for neo-Nazis to publish it themselves. And um, the Germany Central Council of Jews, you know, some people there were very against it being republished, but others were saying, that it would protect it against new Nazi groups. And so I just wanted to know what your opinion on about it was. Yes, I knew about that. I knew that it was forbidden to be sold. But I think that everybody should see it to see how ridiculous it was. But at the time, those comments were not taken seriously. I think it's important that you not for, you not forbid it because when you forbid things, then you you start people making people curious. They could make a relica out of it. On the contrary, it should be vulgarized, it should be made common. So that's, that's why I wanted to cover the book, to show it, and to, pu to pull out the important sentences. And I had to um, ask the publishers, Latin, if I could use the book, and they agreed immediately. It should be read. It's, why should it be forbidden? But what's problem, what the problem is, it's to make it sacred. That's the problem. That's my feeling. <laughs> 